So some people on a Sunday, they go for a run. We get up early to attract it. Apex. We're going to Apex this morning again. So we're going to practice and see if we can get a little faster, Mike. Ninja with me. practice in the KTM once again to see if we can get faster for when we go to Chakawala and literally on Friday no like six days for my birthday oh, sorry ah. she got me track days for Christmas we'll be taking the KTM and we'll be taking the knife of night so this lady right here needs to get used to the GP shifter and she's gonna be smoking fast yeah see you on the track Uh, anyway, we're now back from from Apex after having a so-so day. I've got two a two-part video for you on this one. One is gonna be smashing my face onto the ground, cut to footage of crashing, and the second one is actually gonna be how I got my personal record, which is currently uh, ninth uh, fastest at the moment as per this app that i'm going to show you right now with uh with the gps receiver whatever blah, blah, blah. i've got a couple of laps uh, recorded i'm going to run try and see or explain the first one and i'm going to run through how i actually work uh, with the ktm in the track i actually i'm riding right now a ktm rc 390 i switched from the yamaha r3 which now max has he's preparing that one for for track day as the season begins for us we're going to join some track days, uh, some track races this weekend. So hopefully, the small leader bikes, uh, the small engine bikes, will be a ton of fun. Uh, so the couple of things, I just got this KTM RC390. I am on my third or fourth like car track day on it. We're gonna check a while next. It's the RC390 Cup, which is uh, you know the the one that they have for Moto America for all these junior riders. So the bike is set up for 75 to 130 pounds. So it is very squishy and it's, it is very squishy and it's very soft for my weight. I'm too fat for this motorcycle. So diving in like crazy, when I take off, the, the, the rear shock basically gives up. Uh, so I'm feeling a lot of those feelings in the bike, but hopefully once I get all that tune, I can be a little more competitive. I think I'm running right now 47 to fives. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about the fastest lap and how I get to that point. So here we go. uh right here we go so exiting the straight i'm going full gas second third fourth sometimes fifth if i want to be lazy about it but here i slam on the brakes into oh by the way i have the upside down quick shifter so shifts for me are gp shifts so ups are pushing down down is pulling up motor gp style so when i get to this straight tuck in uh, extend my body back up and I go immediately from from fourth to third to second as quick as you can through the gears and playing with the clutch a little bit because there's no slipper in this in this bike uh, holding the clutch halfway through to try to back in the bike a little bit to the right so I'm, I'm backing in the bike just a hair or as much as I have the balls to do uh, to prepare for the let go of the brakes acceleration on the corner and acceleration as much as you can on second gear. So let's see. Second, third, fourth. And now here is a key. Um, trying to slam on the brakes as well. See those little lines that you guys see right now on the floor are actually good markers for me to like see how close I get to this line or that line. So I usually again go from fourth to third and second banging on the gears. And again, letting the back end slide a little bit, not slide all over the place, but just kind of give it a little right slide, push the handlebars a little bit so the bike starts to tilt. And as soon as it starts to tilt, you slowly get get off the clutch and start to hold your second gear. I come down to second gear to hold all those next corners on, to, on second gear. I saw Josh Heron do this actually on his Ovale and that's what I'm kind of like copying what he's the lines that he's following. I tuck in really close to this to the to the left corner 
I open a little bit, but not too much, and then I hug it all the way in, holding, holding, holding until you pass that cone that you just saw pass through the left. The key to be fast in this area, which I disagree with some people, agree with others, is go as far left as you can, right to here, to try to make a straight line between this, between the, 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 the piano, basically, the blue and yellow piano. But don't go straight line. Try to go a little bit to your right so that then you can dive to the left, watch. So when you go to the right, I can actually, when I lean to the right, instead of going straight and accelerating, when I go to the right, I can get a little bit of more grip, have the rear end spin a little faster than if it was straight, and then jump that little, jump that little uh, piano on the left. And when you jump the piano on the left, it shifts the bike a little bit to, to it pushes the, the, the back end to, 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 to turn just a few degrees out, and it sets you up for, you know into the straight and into the hill but you'll see that I'm not a straight line I'm going left right and that we'll talk about in Adams next time I go when I do the video in Adams I'll review how using that piano helps you kick it off to the other side as soon as you go down the hill slam on the brakes but uh, you know all this time during second I do kick up to third up just before the hill and back into second when I'm coming down Stay in second. In this one, I found out through the analytics of this app that if I stick to the to the corner, don't open and veer it in unless you're on a supermoto. But on this bike, for me, it's been faster to just hug the corner and exit as, as fast as I can. And off we go. I switch, as soon as I come up, I switch back to third gear and I do my left and my right on third holding a constant speed, accelerating if I can grow the cojones to do that. But it's basically a third holding and a third gear holding and holding that lean down, accelerating a little bit if you can, but cutting it off if, if it goes too crazy. Third left, third right, and holding on third. And then here, I'm about to switch into second. As soon as you stand up the bike, switch it to second. Now my buddy Max says, take this corner all the way to the right to dive on to the left. But check this out. I actually hug the corner and go on a straight line from corner to the right to corner to the left. I draw a diagonal line going straight, so I don't hug it. I'm in the middle of the track, as you can see. I'm not on the far right, I'm not on the far left. I'm diving for the corner immediately, switching to second gear as I straighten up the bike. And then when I dive in, I dive in just before the broken crack here on the right hand side. So I basically don't go all the way right to go all the way left. No, I draw, I draw a straight line between the right corner here and the left corner there. It's a straight line entry. So there isn't a swerve to the right and into the left. The reason why I don't do that is because I'd rather transfer all the weight of the bike and momentum prior to landing on the corner. Uh, I want to be like almost in full lean by the time I'm hitting the market. So it's it's a straight line. It's a straight line and you'll see why next. When I, you draw that straight line, it immediately drops you to the right hand side, which I don't go all the way out either. I stay in the middle of the track to try to shave feet of distance in the track to try to reduce the distance of the track. And I'll show you why in the app a little later because there's a way to to do the, I think the, the track is like 2,670 feet, whatever, you cut feet out of the track by not swerving all the way in and all the way out if you have the power to, to handle that. Again, kiss the corner, uh, maintain the whole thing in second gear if you can, if that's your gearing ratio, and then exit in second, straight to third, straight to fourth as quick as you can, and just pin it. And then we'll let you watch the fast lap now with all the cameras and the telemetry data on board. Peace.